Uh, my name is David Mutaka. I currently work with Stanbic Bank. Been working with Stanbic for 10 plus years. Uh, currently, I lead the People and Culture team, what people call Human Resources. Married, three kids, uh, love sports, used to play rugby a lot. Then, of course, due to injury and work schedules, that dropped. And yeah, but I still try to do adventurous stuff. I've been doing mountain climbing the last one year. And I think what's been exciting is also finding small spaces to work out even without a regular gym routine and that has helped me stay in shape. So in the middle of lockdown I had let go of my habits. I think I, did, I might have been uh, slightly depressed and I didn't know it but you know eating, drinking, behaving badly and I realized that I was I was getting out of shape. So a friend of mine talked to me about what had helped him transform and then he mentioned Timnath and said, look, there's this place you must go to. There's this guy called Dr. Andrew and, you know, he does great stuff. You must go and see him um, and, and see their problems. And I think what he really mentioned that caught my eyes, so I said, even because he had lost weight, he said, look, after I lost weight, how do you grow muscle, how do you not just flail away in terms of the work done and that's how I discovered Tina. After procrastinating for a while I eventually made it for my appointment and the rest is history. Uh, my first impression, I think it's uh, much better than I expected first and foremost. Uh, I first was Timnath is a very small and cozy place, um, very professional interaction. Um, the engagement with the doctor, I think when you talk to a doctor, you always feel like you're, you've gone to the headmaster's office and, and you've committed some crimes. So, <laughs> having gained a few pounds and having to confess the last time you worked out, what have you been eating, that, that can be quite uncomfortable. But I think um, uh, the doctor makes it very, very comfortable. And in terms of just saying, what are your goals, what are you trying to achieve, um, taking the interaction beyond just weight loss to very many other variables around wellness and health. So things like cholesterol level, muscle growth, uh, what drives metabolism, understanding cardio and versus other workouts, things that you would ordinarily never think about on the street. And I think for me that was uh, a key thing that sort of said, look, this is a problem I must actually do. The interaction, as I said, was very easy. Uh, and I think the fact that it was easy, the fact that it was helpful, the fact that it was uh, really customized to, to what I needed. Uh, being an ex-sportsman, you always feel like you should be ahead of the times, you know, so you put, there's a lot of personal pressure, I suppose. I don't know for anyone who's out there, look, I've never done sports, look, I'm just starting out. So, you know. But if you've done sports in before, you feel like, how have I, you're almost like you've dropped off something. So there's a bit of guilt there. I think the interaction took that away. Um, with the workouts, again, you know, just encouraging you, starting you simply and, you know, raising your, your level uh, minute by minute, enabling you to work out even at home with what equipment you must buy. I think very, very useful things that, looking back, I never would have had. In addition to the workouts, I think the other big piece is understanding meals and how the body works. What body foods are good for you, what quantities, what should you eat them. When you commit, when you fall off, you know, let's say alcohol is a big issue, for example, in my life, so it's a place What do you do then? Uh, how do you stay connected? So the meal plans, first and foremost, the keto diet is something I tried. I found it really, really useful, especially for muscle growth. Um, I did that for a month. I, I couldn't believe I had to stay away from gonja for a month. So if you're trying the keto diet and you love some carbs, you will struggle. But the benefits in terms of muscle growth and, and how the doctor gives you such flex that you can eat enough to not be hungry and enough to just have enough for the body to grow. And in addition to that, um, and a friend of mine was on, on the same joint as well, decided on another meal plan which worked for her as well and it was a, a more regular meal plan again really well planned and, and thinking about things that you never think about that are really useful so things like uh, cashew nuts and almonds and how much those really drive the right um, outcomes for the body and as i said it's not about weight alone uh, i think that's the biggest thing for me that came out weight is one small metric that we look at and forget that we are damaging the body in other ways so thinking about cholesterol muscle growth that drives metabolism which means that when you eat the body burns fat um, discovering how that then ties into things like uh, uh, high intensity workouts versus cardio so i think it's a it's a very beautifully integrated plan 
for someone who wants to have um, an active, I think, functional body. I realized how much impact your body being in shape impacts how we think, how we show up for important meetings or how you prepare maybe for an interview. Many times you don't think about the physical wellness and that is really the, it's almost the infrastructure that carries whatever you're carrying in your head, your emotions. If it is out of work, the rest of your life suffers. So for me, that period in around when I started the one month program especially, and I'd say if you're out there watching, please do the one month program, it is, it is life changing. Because after that, you're never the same. And the doctor promises you that, and you see the benefits, uh, the tremendous benefits that really come as a result. If I could think about anything the program did for me, I think it's also disciplining my life. When must you eat? When, how much can you drink? How do you recover? Because I think sometimes, or many times in life, you fall off the wagon. Um, you struggle with certain bits. And I think this, the skills or tools that the engagement with the doctor gives you is that ability to recover. And then of course the continuous videos, and there's a community as well, of very fun people who make it, you know, it, it integrates in your life. It doesn't become a mission. And I think many times when you're starting something and then it becomes a mission, that's where you fall off. Um, the, the enablers, you sort of have the, the YouTube, you have the website, you have the WhatsApp group, uh, you know, guys sharing doctors, you know, very well-timed videos that sort of say, I think this person gets my struggle and understands where I'm at at this point in time, and, and that's useful. Um, you know, going into holidays, how should you plan for those? You had a big night last night, um, maybe you're celebrating something, um, you've gone off your diet and your highly on carbs, how do you recover from that? And I think a lot of the time for me, my struggle was falling off. And if suddenly you fall off, then the guilt comes in and you stab yourself, which ruins all the work you've done. So just keeping all those metrics in a simple format that says this is what's up. Um, and I think what has become growth for me is the ability to find spaces to work out. So it's called gyms in small spaces. It's like, okay, that's a unique thing. But the fact that you can do from 10 to 20 minutes workouts in your sitting room, in your garage, outside on the veranda, with very everyday materials and live feeling different. And if you go and do then the test around, has my muscle grown? What has my body fat done? And if you went on to do even a medical, I feel much, much better. So in terms of managing my life, I think if I was to take away something, that's, that's the power. Because sometimes life overwhelms you. If you think about, I had a busy week at an example, I need to work out this week. But in that not working out, I know five minutes before the shower, I already have four or five workouts that I've picked up from just engaging with team now. You know, in five minutes, I can raise my intensity, enter the shower, and know that I, you know, I've done my workout for the day. And then, know that I need to schedule maybe a longer workout, I need to go and lift weights. I was never good at lifting weights. Um, after team that, I now lift weights quite casually. I think I go to my team and the guys are like, hey, we've changed. So I think those are real, real benefits uh, that I wish I had in my playing days. I'll probably have played more.